Hello, Q Services. So I've simply got here two hot pressure washers, 21 litres, 200 bar up to 90 degrees. We can then go on to 150 degrees at lower pressure and volume of water. So what I'm simply going to show you how everything operates. So what we've got first of all is this system is primed up with water at the moment. So it's been set up and everything else. What you've simply got there is you've got a valve there and we've also got a valve at the other side. So what we're simply going to do is go and open these. If you look what you'll see is this yellow pipe there will let the water run out of the system as you open it up. So at the end of the day you open all the taps up and it will run free. You've also got two valves there which are your prime valves. So in the morning what you'd do is you'd come back and these would be open. So we're going to open these first of all at both sides of the boiler. What we're simply going to do then is we're going to open this one as well. As we open that, what you'll see in a minute or two is the water is slowly, slowly starting to drain off in the system. It, when we go to the other side and open the other side one, it will completely be empty of water. So as you can see now, that is slowly running out and that will run free as well. So what I've simply got here at this side as well is a pipe going out the door. So if we close the tank fitting off and close that valve off, open that one and you'll see the water in that pipe all just going to run off and clear off. That system will be completely empty of water. It will run itself free. So if we go back to the other side what you'll find is all them pipes have got no water in. That's the way at the end of the day so them valves would be open. You would leave them open till you prime the system back up again afterwards. So once the system and all the pipes have all cleared up, all the areas out of the system on them pipes, you would then close them valves. Starting both machines. Key start, in the morning what you will have to do is give it a slight little bit of choke. So the choke valve Give it choke, turn the key, the machine will cough and splutter slowly, knock the valve, knock the choke over, and off the machine will run. Obviously, you're turning the key there to start it. What I've simply also got here is a steam valve system that opens and closes. That picks your pressure up and down. So when it's turned fully anti-clockwise, that is lower pressure. Turn it the other way, and you're up back up onto full pressure. Chimneys, what they simply do is they connect on to a catch up at the top. When you run the machines, you have the machines running. If that chimney is still red hot, it means the boiler's not cool enough. Make sure you can put your hands on the chimney before you try to cool and turn the machine down. Operating on steam, on hot, make sure before you start the generator that them switches are in hot in the off position and the thermostat is at zero you can then start the generator, not a problem. So both switches, at the moment that is left on, so what we'd simply do, make sure that is off and that is turned to zero as well. You've got a plug there that is powered up when the generator is started, so if you want to use the power you've got the option there as well. You've also got, if you had a fault with one of the machines, you've got a valve, so if you close that valve off or open it, it means that that machine there has got no water going to it that other machine would have worked correctly, no problem at all so any problems at any stage, turn that machine and turn the machine off as you come also at the end of the day so what you do is when you're starting off you'd also close that so the water itself it's not going to take care of it so make sure that that valve is in that position before you try and start these machines back up so this is when we're starting back up leaving them valves open We'll go back here and what you'll find is on the system itself here so what we'd simply do is make sure that, that is that way around and closed and open that valve so the tank itself will be feeding from the tank itself if you ever needed to you can work straight off that system there and what you'd simply do there is you would open 
quick release it, the valve off there, and put it straight in off the hydrant point. Connection on there. So that's your hydrant point. Turn the tap on and work that way, but make sure that that tank there, yeah, can you see? We're on that position. Always remember if you're working off an hydrant point and letting go of the trigger and you're working that way, that tank will fill up in the bypass section. So as it returns around, it would work that way. We've also got this system here. So what we've simply got there is, we've got a special fitting there, but what we've got is that coupling, that fitting is to go to the brass hose lock fittings that everybody uses on the garden tap. That connects into there and that gives you the option to go straight into the customers. I prefer this system with no non-returns in. You will use that fitting to screw onto the customer's tap and what you simply do is you connect in there. That would then go through the hose reel itself and what you'd simply do, as you can see, you've got two valves. One is for this tank, this is for the, for the, for the actual water-fed pole tank, the flat tank, so you'll keep that one closed if you're feeding the main big thousand litre tank but if you're feeding the other one change it round so open that one up close that valve off then the water fed tank pole system would be fed with water and filled up so when we're using the pressure washer close that one off open that one up and the water will go straight into a ball cock system that operates and fills the tank up once it's full the ball cock will come in and close it off and what you'd simply do is connect that pipe straight in onto the customer's tap via them two points there we've got this system as well what we've simply got there is you've got your water fed pole system as well in there you've also got split charger and battery you've got your fuel tank there if the machines run out of fuel the burners will knock off you will need to make certain that there's always plenty of fuel in there and the fuel in the bottom is kept clean. Level switch in there that automatically operates and knocks it off. Good sized caps, so you're not going to spill fuel everywhere. Kerosene or diesel, red or white. We've got the lances. So if you're working on normal pressure and everything else what you'd simply be doing is high pressure hose coming out you will wind that hose off if you're working on steam at any stage you've got to unravel that hose fully off you've got two lances here you've got your steam lance and you've got your normal lance that has got the option there to use a normal nozzle in the side door We've got Vario nozzle and turbo nozzle and also we've also got if you want to work close range we've made this system so the guns themselves unscrew you put that in place there and you can use your turbo nozzle Vario nozzle at close range than having it on a lance it gives you that option as well you've also got the option if you're just working on cold what we've done is we've done an 80 meter hose reel and a 20 meter on a quick release system so they come uncoupled as the 20 meter hose last if you're doing a job just on cold, you've got the option. So these ball valves, like I said earlier, what you've simply got there is also the isolation ball valve that goes with the patio cleaner. So that disconnects out the system. So if you're using different lances, different things that day, what you'd simply do is you've got this system. At the moment, your valve's open. So you'd open that valve up so it's in that position and close the boiler off so you can use the machine and that is in the cold position so you connect your high pressure 20 meter hose directly straight up to that point and work straight out of the back door that is just cold and cold only that stage you won't start your generator you just have your engine running turned on there so when you're working it the other way around on the 20 meter hose close at the end of the when you're starting off next day make sure that valve is closed that is there for protection of the boiler so that will let water out at night and open that valve back up into the on position that will allow water through into the boiler what we will do is show a video of it running as well shortly we've also got up here 
the parts for the water fed poles to click the water fed poles into. The machines themselves shouldn't really need to be touched, you should be able to use them without having to turn the revs up and down on the engines. It is all done via that valve there. You've got one on both machines and that is giving you every option. Like I say, make sure that always them switch you before you start the generator in off position. And like I say, if at any stage then boilers stop running, there's no draft coming out of the top of the boiler, have you run out of fuel? Always fill your fuel up before you start on the machines and on the boilers themselves, on the heat side in the back in that big tank. Make sure that is full to the top at all times. You don't want to be halfway through a job working and all of a sudden you've run out of fuel and you've got steam system. You've got lights also and an isolation valve for the battery that's the split charger battery. Same again on that side, the same system. That's the isolation ball valve there system that you take out the system that is just there as a storage when you're not using it. So as we look at this again now, what you've simply got there is the keys for the lights, to turn the lights on, which is dazzling us and giving us a bad photo, but you've also got isolation for the battery. Take your key out. On and off. That operates the split charger and the battery in the back of there, which we'll just show you right quick. And that's where you'll connect also the water fed pole system to with the split charger. So like I say, what this system's doing, we can run at 90 degrees plus at 200 bar 21 litres, or we can simply turn the system, change the lances over to the normal to the other steam lance, only use on steam. You can turn it down also and you will get to a temperature about 120 working away with the genuine normal lance in there turning the valve down on the pressure regulator and I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much.